On both sides of a controversial piece of legislation that will become Louisiana law, expect legal challenges. The legislature overrode Governor Edwards' veto of a bill that bans gender-affirming care for minors. Sabrina Wilson has more. 75 yeas, 23 nays, and the motion passes. It was a vote that set in motion the override of Governor John Bell Edwards' veto of House Bill 648, which banned gender-affirming care for anyone under 18 in Louisiana. The bill will become law after the House and then the Senate agreed to override the governor's decision. But groups like the Southern Poverty Law Center say it's unconstitutional. Yes, we definitely do. Um, Louisiana's House Bill 648 is unconstitutional. It discriminates against transgender minors on the basis of sex and gender. Chandra Shea Foster is policy associate with the SPLC. It prohibits healthcare professionals from providing hormones to transgender minors to help them to conform to their gender identity. Among other things, the legislation says a health care professional shall not knowingly engage in acts that attempt to alter a minor's appearance in an effort to validate the child's perception of his or her sex if that perception is inconsistent with the minor's sex. There's no way a child can give informed consent uh, to make a decision that's going to alter the course of the remainder of their lives. And we just think this is unconscionable and common sense. The group Louisiana Family Forum strongly supported efforts to make the bill law. We think it was the right move to override the governor's veto, dealing with minors in unnecessary experimental surgical procedures. Opponents say parental rights will be trampled on. It violates parents' fundamental rights to provide their children this medical care that's needed. No person in the state of Louisiana, not a parent, and not the governor have the right or the authority to harm a child. And there's nothing medical about these procedures. And opponents say it will be yet another Louisiana law that will put medical professionals in a bind. Under this law, you're going to enter into a relationship fearful of what the ramifications would be if you provide care to a patient, right? The bill says if a licensing board finds that a health care professional has violated the law, the board shall revoke any professional license or certificate held by that person for a minimum of two years. Legal challenges are anticipated. In terms of courts, the court hadn't finally decided where this stands. But the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals and the U.S. Supreme Court are making different decisions than previous courts. And we think that this will fare well in that situation. Numerous courts have found in other states that laws like HB 648 are unconstitutional for those very same reasons. 